Hey there, fools. Big T here with another video. And this video is another video <laughs> about Capcom, yes. And this won't be too specific about Capcom themselves and what uh, my, my, uh, my discontent with you know what they are and what they do too much. But it, it'll be more about uh, people's reaction to criticizing Capcom or companies like them. Um, I just, at this point, don't understand uh, why people feel the need to defend Capcom. And uh, it happens a lot, especially after I critique them or uh, make videos or whatnot about it. Uh, you see it all the time. And I just don't understand it. Like, are we delusional? When it comes to Capcom, do we not realize that they are a shell of them former or their former selves? And if not for Monster Hunter, they would probably be already under. They probably be done already. But for the success of Monster Hunter for 3DS and now Monster Hunter Worlds, if not for that, they would be in some serious trouble as a company. I would think. Um, you let me know. Uh, they pretty much hoard out Street Fighter V, so maybe, you know, that didn't cost them too much. Um, that game was a shell of itself. Uh, initially, the content wasn't there, and they basically hoard it to Sony and made it an exclusive. Now, Capcom has been on everything except for scientific calculators for decades. And the fact that they took this major franchise major third-party franchise that they usually put on everything and stuck it to one system uh, which was a money move i mean it's pretty obvious it wasn't any other reason for that move uh it just speaks volumes to the company that they are now um, and you look at like other things that they have like uh, marvel versus capcom ultimate is it called i believe the last one uh that pretty much bombed didn't do well uh and you like you know resident evil 7 i guess did pretty well um a lot of people you know didn't like it as much but i think it fared pretty well in uh, reviews and whatnot monster hunter is uh another franchise of theirs that they uh regularly they regularly put out there uh, especially on the handheld front, obviously 3DS uh, got a nice few Monster Hunter games and they're all pretty good. Obviously Monster Hunter Worlds on Xbox One, PS4, and uh, PC uh, was well received. But the variety of Capcom that used to be there obviously isn't there. They got, I guess they got some fighting games, they got Monster Hunter, and then you have uh, Resident Evil. After the last couple, needed to be a saving grace for the the series and i think it was for a lot of people a lot of people didn't like the change in uh the setup but a lot of people did they are a shell of what they used to do capcom used to be a you know a big top tier third party company and they're not they're basically relegated to porting games everywhere i mean just look at okami okami started off on the ps2 it was ported uh, to Wii, then it was ported to PlayStation 3, and uh, I don't know if it's on 360, I don't think so. Uh, then it was ported to PS4 and uh, Xbox One, and obviously it's also coming to uh, Switch. So this is a typical thing that they do with a lot of their franchises. I mean, we can talk about Street Fighter. I mean, ports of Street Fighter there are out there. You can talk about Mega Man collections and how many times that stuff's been ported. And that's mostly what you get from them. Now, Resident Evil 7 took a few years to come out, so there wasn't a lot of Resident Evil stuff going on outside of Revelations, which was a 3DS game that got ported again to PS4 and Xbox One, Wii U, and again to Switch. Um, so another uh, port. Uh, Revelations 2 um, obviously as well and you know the, to me those are smaller games those aren't, those aren't like mainline Resident Evil games um, some people may feel that they are but 
they're kind of they're definitely smaller games and not like big tier games and i think coming out of the 360 ps3 era uh capcom just was bleeding money they hemorrhaging money they lost a lot and they seem to cut back in what they do and what they do mostly is porting and uh, maybe two or three major franchises every three to five years that is a shell of what capcom used to be um i can you know, i can go over the list of the variation of games rpgs to action rpgs to platforming to you know all the different types of games that he used to put out to what they are now and so when i critique them it's from a place of love because i actually care about their ips if i didn't care i wouldn't talk about them it's not like uh, it's fun you know I, I wish they were better and you know obviously to me they're the worst when it on nintendo consoles they're you know a little bit better on the other consoles um but especially as a nintendo fan they're even worse because they don't bring stuff over um you look at the switch which is like the hottest console out and their output on switch is pretty poor to me and so when i talk about those things again it's not to rag on capcom it's to want better from capcom because i know they can do better than what they're doing uh but they, they choose not to and i just don't understand the pushback when i talk about these things there are fans that are perfectly happy with what capcom does right now or if they're not they're complacent about it well it's just like well this is what capcom is so they're gonna do what they're gonna do um why do you accept mediocrity why do you accept that because this is what they're gonna do we're getting a mega man because fans want a mega man we're getting a new mega man because there was so much push for that to happen it's not because they were eventually gonna do it i don't think they were i think they were happy just putting out uh ports of old mega man games because people buy those so that is a effect of fans saying well we really want this we really want this every time they can get in capcom's face or anytime they can talk about it fans were saying this is what we want so why can't fan this is about games you know if you really want games from a certain company you advocate that you talk about that you say that you don't just sit back and hope and and dream or just not even care about what they do because they're going to continue to do what you don't care for and that comes that goes for nintendo we, if nintendo was sitting around on switch like i i critique nintendo for switch and some of these same people don't like that but i critique nintendo uh, for wii u ports on the switch um, especially in 2018 because there's not a whole lot of major first party stuff yet out for this for switch when i critique oh here come the ports and that stuff it's because i want better so i want more i care enough and i know they can do better and that goes for capcom as well obviously they can't do stuff on the scale of nintendo or any of the other major uh console makers because they don't have the, the resources and the funds at this point and you know a lot of that is their own undoing because of um, terrible business decisions and trying to chase the western market with western style big games that cost them dearly when i critique nintendo it's because i want i know they can do better and it's the same for capcom and or any other company i talk about if i don't talk about you it's because i don't care like you know I, i'll throw digs at ea but i just don't care about ea anymore i don't care about the, the games they put out anyway i don't i don't talk about oh man i wish they would do this or i wish they can bring this game i guess i would say i wish e ea was also doing what they used to do maybe in the the gamecube ps2 area area era with the uh, you know ea big and they had all the cool sports titles and they had a lot of different things they were doing they had the lord of the rings uh license and they were making action cool action rpgs with that like i wish that was a thing but they 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 have the resources to make that a thing again and they won't so at this point it's just like well if they won't do it there's no excuse for them uh screw it you know they, they don't make anything i care about anymore but capcom still has ips i care about and they're doing nothing but giving me games that i already played before and a couple of big you know a, a couple of um new games in their major franchises every three to five years and to me that's just not a good enough output 
I don't know. I just don't understand the pushback and the complacency with accepting what they do. Don't accept it. Like, the, why would you accept it? I wouldn't accept Nintendo. I don't, and I don't accept Nintendo for what they've been doing on Switch. I talk about it. It wouldn't be fair to me or to people who listen to me and want me to give them my real feelings and not just uh, fanboying or not just uh, get along, go along type of stuff. I don't know how else to be than to be real. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, do you think I'm too hard on Capcom? Uh, because Capcom should be coddled like a toddler. Or do you think they should do better? Uh, let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching and listening. And I'll see you fools next time. Peace out.